Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of CWC. I am your host, Commissioner, and President of CWC, NGW, and a rebranding of ECW. I am Elijah Justice, and this is CWC. I'm so glad that y'all can join me today. But before we get too deep into it, I want to have a make a few announcements before we get too deep. Um, in case y'all haven't known, I'm pretty sure the whole world knows now. Uh, January 17th, 2022, one of my favorite uh, underrated independent wrestlers has July 2023. He passed away in a fatal car accident, and his name was Jay Briscoe, one half of the Briscoes, along with Jay and Mark. Um, Jay Briscoe was a 16-time Ring of Honor Tag Team Champion, and I made this show today not only for it supposed to be scheduled, but also for the honor and the memory of Jay Briscoe. This show is dedicated to him and him only. I want to I want to give my thoughts and prayers to his family and his brother Mark, and let them continue wrestling for one on one. And this show is for you, Jay. Uh, I want to say every thank you for everyone that joining me today. Um, we're gonna have a few good matches. We got Ray Celcillo versus El Tenil in the first match. So let's get it on, baby. We got Ray Del El Cidolo making his way to the ring, making his second appearance on CWC, hoping to make a statement here in CWC. Hopefully, he will pull in the win tonight over the 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 most overconfident El Tornado. Will he be able to defeat Tornado tonight and get his win here on CWC, or El will, will El Tornado continue his dominance? Over CWC. We'll find out right now. And his opponent from Juarez, Chihuahua, Mexico, weighing in at 158 pounds, the Tornado. El Tornado making his way to the ring, hoping to make a statement of his own. This proper superstar will be pushed by the crowd's approval only. Now, El Tornado has one of the most dangerous moves here in the CWC. But, we'll see if he will get his second win here over Ray next on CWC. We got Ray. Tornado right here right now let's get it right now hit him with the brain buster right now ooh, ooh spring tornado Ray trying to keep El Tornado uh El Tornado trying to keep down Ray what's Tornado thinking Oh, reversal by Ray. What's Ray thinking here? Ooh, missed the super kick. Oh, but he's getting back control. Ray now hits him with a. Ooh, beautiful slam. Ray now perched up on the top rope, which he's looking for here, and it might be a. Oh, tightrope drop kick. Beautiful. 
I think Ray is attempting to go for a pin. And he does. And will he get a count? And it's an early one count for Ray. Ray taking control of this match now. Keeping uh, El Tornado down. Ray missed the Springboard Moonsault. Reversal is going back and forth between the two. Ray keeping El Tornado down. Ray now hits him with a ooh and a beautiful corkscrew senton. Ray going for the pin. And a kick out again for El Tornado. Ooh, roundhouse kick turns it into a Ooh, a Spanish fly, my goodness. And Ray gets the easy one, two, three today. Now, and for Ray L. Del Cidolo. Now, Tornado is one and one in the season, while Ray, I believe, is one and one. Ray is fired up here, but El Tornado is going home with a loss here tonight. He looks really disappointed. We'll see if he will bounce back within the next recent weeks. But next up, we got Azrael Avalanche versus Maurice Jackson. Now, I'm a big fan of these two. Azrael Avalanche with the infamous uh, Spanish fly. And Maurice Jackson with the pop and lock style of CWC. He is known as the fastidista of CWC. But don't take the Maurice Jackson too lightly here. Maurice Jackson knows how to put up a good fight. And he proved it on his debut uh, a couple weeks back. Who will outbest each other? Azrael Avalanche or Maurice Jackson? We'll find out next on CWC. Then again, I just want to say thank you all so much for joining me in this sh on this live memorial show. Um, This is a big deal for me because uh, Jay Briscoe was one of my favorite underrated independent scene wrestlers. He was a, uh, he, there was a true fact about, uh, Jay Briscoe. Jay Briscoe gave, uh, WWE gave Mark and Mark and Jay a WWE contract and they both turned it down. I don't, I gotta go deeper in research into that, but I want to know the reason why. But, uh, I'll probably get back up to y'all on tomorrow's, f tomorrow's ECW first baby view. That's right. Tomorrow. ECW is having a one night stand tomorrow and every title is on the line we will have every new champion tomorrow so y'all tune in close for this infamous match matches that we got going on tomorrow but as real Maurice going on right here right now let's get it Here comes Azrael Avalanche. Ooh, the fashion statement of CWC. Don't take this man too lightly either. This man knows how to put up a good fight and knows how to wrestle. He will break down any opponent in the ring, keeping them down on the ground for good, even if he has to break a bone or two.
But here comes Maurice Jackson. Sorry, it's the <laughs> there was something in the back that I didn't realize that was in the back. Sorry, guys. But Maurice and Asriel, Maurice getting on right now. Oh, the series of combinations from Maurice Jackson ended up with a beautiful her Karana. And a knee to the arm. Ezreal now. And he drops him on the top of the tongue buckle. Like I said, there's that thing I was talking about earlier. Ezreal was trying to keep his opponent down. Trying to wear down his opponent every time. Now he's targeting the arm of Maurice. Stomping out the hand. Trying to immobilize the hand of Maurice Jackson. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at that beautiful middle rope moonsault by Maurice Jackson. By Asriel Avalanche. Oof. Both of them miss hit the tongue buckle. Maurice, oh, and a big old slap from Maurice. Both of these two going back and forth. Oh, what a nasty super kick. Following up with the German suplex. My goodness, what athleticism. Maurice now trying to keep Asriel grounded. Knowing that Asriel is dangerous when he's... Ooh, in a back fist, Jesus. Maurice now. Pressing on the turnbuckle and throwing him away. Like he's a rag doll. And another knee to the arm. Oof. Sharp elbow to the head. See? Maurice is targeting that arm and now Asriel is stunned. What's Maurice planning on doing while taking advantage of this? Oh, Maurice now. Oh, oh, slide under. Goes through. Big old clothesline for Maurice. What a beautiful combination. He was one step ahead of Asriel there for a second. Goes from side to the pin and goes to go for only for a two count. Maurice with his own middle rope moonsault. And another knee targeting the arm of Asriel. Might need some medical uh, personnel out here soon. Asriel now going for that patented backbreaker. Asriel now probably looking for the moon salt. Beautiful. One. And an easy kick out. For Maurice. As real now. Going for a reverse suplex. My goodness. As you're trying to keep Maurice down, planning on a beautiful standing moon salt. Ooh, and another kick out for Maurice. Asriel's got to find a way to put down Maurice for good. Whoa, look at that. Look, look at the athleticism from this kick. Oof. The athleticism of Asriel Avalanche is unspeakable. Asriel now going for a... Ooh, beautiful drop kick. Oh, what's he going for now? He's charging up for the... The falling avalanche. Will that be enough to put Maurice away? And it's not. It's not enough. As you're uh, attacking the arm of Maurice now, they're both attacking each other, pinpointing their weak spots. Oh, look at uh, Adriel now. Ooh, but 
Maurice got the leads up just in time. Combination from Maurice. Asriel thought twice about being swinging away from the out, but he got up too quick. This is a back and forth match, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta love the back and forth and the competition between these two. Determination is strong in the ring tonight. On the ring, Jay Briscoe. Middle rope. Ooh. Oh, I, I think I heard a break. Going for a pin. And Azriel Avalanche gets the win tonight. I think Maurice Jackson broke something. I heard something crack. You might need to get some person, uh, medical person, now to go check on uh, Maurice Jackson is back. But Azriel Avalanche gets a huge win over Maurice Jackson. Both competitors extremely competitive, but. Azriel Avalanche comes out on top of Maurice Jackson. Ooh, these were some good matches lately. I wonder who's up next. And we got, oh my goodness. We've got the biggest rivalry of CWC right now. We got Storpio Blanco versus Tokyo Dragon. Now these two grew up in Mexico together. Now, these guys do not mess around. When I tell you guys, the rivalry between these two are sparking. These two used to be childhood best friends, and now them two are trying to get over each other. They're both going for the CWC World Championship, and we'll see who will come out on top next. On CWC. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Uh oh, there goes Tokyo Dragon attacking Blanco. Mexico, weighing in at 202 pounds, the white. Uh, attempting to attack Scorpio, but if y'all didn't know, um, Tokyo Dragon is a heel, and Scorpio Blanco is the face of the company. Um, a Tokyo Dragon has the more aggressive trait, and Scorpio Blanco is more bold in the ring. So he will take up any challenge there is possible, even if he has to fight his best friend, Tokyo Dragon. Ooh, and Tokyo with his own Spanish fly. Scorpio reverses. And with a few chop combinations following up with the, ooh, with the basement kick at the back of the kidneys. Scorpio now. Looks like a fall away. Ooh, we're right on the concrete face, first chest. Good lord. These two are going back and forth on the outside, and the match hasn't even started yet. Get in the ring, guys. Ooh, and a Uranagi from Tokyo Dragon. I hope we have a match, and are we going to have a match? Yes, we are. Thank you. It would be extremely disappointed if we did not have a match tonight. And we all remember this is a show representing Jay Briscoe. Uh, Tokyo Dragon out here dancing. Bianco's hurt. I hope he can compete in here tonight and Tokyo just taunting the fans. Mm. And he was going for some sort of kick, but he it was a fifth attack turned into a thrust kick and following up with a middle rope fist drop. And a kick out for Blanco. Oh, look at this now. Tokyo Dragon. Ooh, with a strike fist in the face of his best friend. These two have been going back and forth for weeks.
Oh, and it looks like it's a missing move for Blanco. Putting him into a single leg Boston Crab. Oh, looks like Tokyo is tar targeting the leg of his of Blanco as well. These two know each other from bone to brick. These two are childhood ch well used to be childhood friends until Blanco attacked them from behind. Um trying to get over his friend in the most aggressive way possible. Oh Tokyo now going for a beautiful top rope moonsault. He's going for the pin now. And Blanco kicks out. Oh, looks like he's going for a shining wizard from Tokyo Dragon. And Blanco kicks out again. Tokyo looking surprised. And it looks like he might be going for the Dragon Slayer Senton. And Tokyo Dragon finds a way to get a win over his ex-best friend, Scorpio Blanco. Blanco, uh, Tokyo had to find a way to cheat in this match by attacking his opponent before the match even started. Hitting him with the Shining Wizard and following him up with a Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer sent on and it was over. And he got the easy... He got the easy one, two, three. It, it was Here it. Is your winner, the Dragon. Tokyo Dragon getting a win over Scorpio, but I'm pretty sure Scorpio is not backing down from this fight, even though Tokyo attacked Blanco before the match even started. Y'all hear the crowd reaction. They hate it. They hate it how this match went. This is despicable. This is horrible. What treacherous work from Tokyo Dragon. No respect from his opponents whatsoever. Ah, now this is one of my favorite matches. We got one of our brightest young talent, Reese Price, against the uh, silent doer, Silence. Now, if you guys don't know, Silence is also part of the ECW roster and along with the CWC roster. Because he's also a cruiserweight, so he gets to be a part of the CWC roster. So, um, Silence made his ECW debut a couple weeks back. Uh, and he won against um, Eddie Ryan. And if you know, tomorrow, Silence will be in a 2 on 1 handicap match of a partner of his choosing against Eddie Ryan due to the punishment of Eddie Ryan attacking the ref after the match. So, who will be Silence's mystery partner? We will not know. We'll find out on ECW tomorrow. But right now, we have Reese Price versus Silence right here, right now. Let's get it. Ooh, y'all hear the sour crowd as Reese Price makes his way to the ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Weighing in at 177 pounds. Platinum. Reese Price. Now, Reese Price has been on the rosters for a, quite a minute. I'm glad y'all enjoying the uh, Jay Briscoe Memorial. Um, big fan of Jay, big fan. Um, I was saddened. I am sad today, but I'm not really sad because today is my birthday, 19th. Thank you all for joining. Thank you for everyone that wished me happy birthday today. I thank y'all for all the y'all support. Um, but here comes silence.
his opponent from Paris, France, weighing in at 184 pounds, the French Paradox. Here comes Silence making his way to the ring. Now this guy knows how to wrestle in a good fight. He might be a silence, but silent, but deadly. Let's see if he will be ready or healthy enough to be in this 2 on 1 handicap match tomorrow against Eddie Ron on ACW's One Night Stand. All right, we got Reese Price, silence the mind, right here, right now. Let's get it. Reese now with a shot coming this one look with a sharp elbow across the head. Here we go now, Reese Price now, sliding under, following up with a beautiful hurricane Rana. Reese Price was looks like he was going for something, going to the top rope. But Silence gets but, oh looks like Reese was going for an arm drag, but Silent but he missed and Silent gets the opportunity to take over the match now. Chat in the corner, follow up with a chop. And ooh, sliding under, roll through into a beautiful clothesline by Silence. Silence and Mime is a little technical in the ring. And a kick out for Reese Price. My goodness. Both of them going back and forth in this little bit of match. Spring shot. Oh my goodness. Turn around. Rip around the world. Hurricanrana. Following up with a beautiful moonsault. Reese Price is on top of his game right now. And he goes for the pin. One. Two. Oh, and a kick out at two. My goodness. What a match this is, folks. Oof. And a top rope moonsault. Silence tried to evade, but listed at the last second. Race Price now evading silence to a beautiful Hurricane Rana. Oh, wait. Silence reverses. Turns it into a. Silence now hits Race Price with the. Oof. Suplex. Thunder Bomb from Silence. And he goes for the pin. Let's see when he gets it. One. Two. Ooh, and that's. Early kick out at two. Race is too fresh in this match here. Yes, it's going to be a late stream tonight. Uh, might as well give it. Oh, is it the? Is it? Is it? Will he hit the French kiss on Reese Price? And will he get the win with the pin? Oh, but he gets the rope break. Oh my goodness. Silence can't be too happy with that. Now Rich Price taking the advantage. Oh, look at Silence. Oh my goodness. Very technical, good sir. With a unique arm jack. I've never seen an arm jack quite like that before. And Silence throwing Reese outside. Attacking him on the outside. Reese evades. Taunts to the crowd. And the crowd does not like him whatsoever. Oh, here we go. Ooh, and a front slam. Nasty. Uh, I think my prediction for the Royal Rumble, everyone is weighing heavily on Cody Rhodes. I think Cody Rhodes has a high chance of winning the uh, Royal Rumble this year, but I highly believe that uh, I do also have my personal prediction as well. I think The Rock will come back in my, in my opinion, but we're not sure. Because, uh, oh, and there's the cutter. There's the cutter from Reese Price. And he goes for the pin. Ooh, and a kick out from Silence. What a match this is, folks. For Jay Briscoe's memorial. This is amazing. But, yes, um, but I'm probably going to have to pick Cody over Sammy. Because it could be a high risk also for Sammy as well. I would be surprised if Sammy won the whole thing by himself. Um, considering maybe Roman Reigns might be in the Royal Rumble this year. But we're not sure. We'll see Sunday. Well, we'll see Saturday. So, 
Silence was a little dazed. He missed the Hurricane Rana. Oh, but he caught that one. And Reese goes for the pin. And a another kick out for Silence. Goodness gracious. Reese don't know how to put away Silence. But Reese does have a finisher. And to another priceless cutter. And Reese Price finally gets a win over the recent weeks of losing back to back to back. Reese Price finally gets a win ever in a wrestling promotion. And he actually worked for it this time. But the real question is, will Silence be ready for Eddie Ryan for ECW tomorrow? The, the crowd does not like that response whatsoever. Race finally gets some win tonight. But this is the match y'all been waiting for. Y'all seen him during the Battle Royal a couple weeks ago. We got Enzo Amore making his way back in in the wrestling versus Jaden Adams. Now will Enzo Amore finds a way to get back to his roots and wrestles for everyone again? Or will Jaden Adams put Enzo Amore down showing him why he's the superior superstar? We will find out next on CWC. Oh, but here comes Enzo Amore. Finally making his way back into wrestling. Oh, but there's Jaden Adams trying to attack Enzo from behind. And will he succeed? Oh, Enzo caught him. Throws him over in the barricade. Enzo now tried to attack Jaden. Uh, Jaden turns him around, turns him around again, turns it into a reverse DDT on the outside. My goodness. It's a beautiful Hurricane Rana by Jaden. Sling Blade following up with a basement drop kick. Ooh, and a net breaker. Oh, and this is gonna be a snap suplex, and it's gonna be a snap suplex from Jaden Adams. Jaden Adams trying to take over this match against Enzo Amore. The match hasn't barely even started yet, and these guys are already fighting outside the ring. Or is it going to be a sunset flip? It is going to be a sunset flip from Jaden Adams. Combination from Jaden now. Trying to get the best of Jaden of uh, Enzo Amore. Ooh, and a spiking DVT on the outside. Ooh, and a cold breaker. Jaden Addison is just as sinister as he could be. Just the jealousy of over Enzo Amore. Look at him. And the crowd did not like him whatsoever. He's trying to get the crowd's approval. Finally getting the match started and following that out with a backbreaker. Crushing the arm of Enzo. Taunting the crowd. And he keeps taunting the crowd. Oof. Strong kick. See, look. He just keeps taunting them. 
Uh, looks like he tried to follow up with a boo, but he missed. Angel caught him with a chop. And throws him in the tongue buckle. Another chop from Enzo. So the barge is in this corner. Enzo with a gut, gut kick. Oh, missed a drop kick. Ooh, I've never seen Enzo do a springboard attack. Looks like Enzo has been working on his wrestling skills since he been, since he left WWE. And a huge knee drop from Enzo Mori. And another one following it up. Oh, Enzo reverses it to a germ. Oh, what a stop. Oh, my goodness. Apparently, Enzo Miller knows how to wrestle now. And the arm smash. Following up with another mid drop from Enzo. And he goes for the pin. And Jaden Adam kicks out at two. Enzo now going to the top row. What's he going for? Wonder what he's going for, Peter. Enzo now. Oh, what he plan on doing now? Oh, he's dancing. He's dancing, falling in love with the elbow drop. And what's this? What's this? What's this? And he calls this one the Jardonzo from Enzo Amore. One. And Enzo Amore gets a win at CWC. Even though Jada Adams tried to attack him before the match even started. And he gets the one, two, three. Following up with the dancing the dancing elbow drop and following up with the Jardonzo. Putting away Jaden Adams, shutting him up, hopefully for good. Here's that there's that dancing elbow drop. And there's the move that he calls the Jardonzo, putting J Jaden Adams going to sleep for tonight. And there is that's when he's got the one, two, three. Here is your winner, N Z O. And Joe gets his making his debut uh won a singles debut tonight and he gets it in a winning fashion. How you doing? says Enzo Moray. Getting a huge win tonight. Now that is a wrestling comeback from Enzo Amore. You know how to do springboard attacks now? Wow. He's been training ever since he left WWE. Not only he is a trash talker, but also a decent wrestler now. Let's see if he can keep this up in the recent weeks. Hopefully getting the title mat getting the title besides the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. But speaking of championships, we got Xai Matsumoto. Versus our newly crowned light light heavyweight champion, Zack Turner. Now, will Zack Turner get another win tonight? Because as of in the records right now, Zack Turner is undefeated on CWC and also on NGW. Will Zack Turner keep continuing on with his undefeated streak? Or, or is I as much Matsumoto get the, ends his streak tonight? for CWC. We'll find out next on CWC. Here comes the spiritual one. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Hong Kong, China. Weighing in at 188 pounds. The Asian Nightmare. Chase the Dragon. 
Matsumoto. Matsumoto making his way to the ring. Hopefully he's taking a fighting stance. This is the most disciplined wrestler I've ever met in my life. This this man is so respectful with the crowd and with his opponents. He carries that flaming stick with him in the representation of his ancestors. Hopefully his ancestors giving him the approval of him wrestling Yatsumoto it is a fourth generation superstar representing his family and here comes our newly crowned light heavyweight champion There he is with a new title. Look at that shiny new belt. You got it by that belt. From Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 163 pounds, the cruiserweight light heavyweight champion, Zach Turner. Zach Turner in it proved in the interview read, um, earlier on today. He said he's going to defend that title and show up every week just to prove he belongs here and he is a champion. This is one of the most humble superstars I ever encountered for a young age of 19. Zach Turner, he enters at record books as being the youngest champion ever in wrestling history. Hopefully, will Zach Turner gets the win tonight, continue his streak, or will he fall into the hands of the spiritual Yatsumoto? We'll find out next after that little short commercial break. Yatsumoto, Turner, right here, right now, let's get it. Just turn a cot, Yatsumoto with the springing net, but oh, and the following with a moonsault. Turner now, sharp kick to the spine. Turner now whipping him into the corner. Following up with a beautiful bulldog. And he goes for the early pin. And the early kick out at one. Oh, top rope. Ooh, moon salt. And Turner. Turner going to the top rope, possibly going for. Ooh, and an arm drag from Zach Turner. Ooh, and a sharp kick to the spine again. Targeting in the back. Um. Oh, wait. Ooh, and a huge headbutt from Yatsumoto. Oh, and Yatsumoto's going for a dragon sleeper. And he got that tight. In. He got it on tight. Oh, but Zach Turner reverses it. Oh, Turner again. Hit it with another springboard, her Karana. Oh, look at whoa, look at that. Turner tried to go for her Karana, but he missed it. And it, well he didn't exactly miss it. And mom and was evasive enough to stand on both two two heads. Wow. And another kick out for Turner. You want to run about a signature in Zach as well? I wonder what uh, Matsumoto has in store. I don't know what his stuff is. And well, let's see. Turns him around. Turns it into a. Ooh. It looks like a reverse suplex stunner. Impressive. Turner now hits it with a net breaker. And another drop kick to the back of Yatsumoto. One for the pin, two, one. And the early kick out at one. Turner now going for another net breaker. Matsuyoto going for a reversal.
He's going to jack on a new champion. One, two, and a kick out from Turner. Ooh, big old kick to the chest. When you're running out, ooh, with a hurricane runner driving the, uh, Turner's face to the canvas. With a turn twisting arm breaker. It's going to kind of keep Zach uh, grounded, knowing that Zach is dangerous while he stands. Whoa! What impressive athleticism from Yatsumoto. And another kick out from Zach. Over the set and a fly. And he hits the. Ooh, and there's the Turner splash. One, two. Oh, and. Yatsumoto kicks out in the last second. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? Could this be? Reach for the sky, boy. A memorial from Jay Briscoe. That was Jay Bris Briscoe's finisher. It was an underhook power driver. Oh, but he was going for another turn of splash, but he missed. Oh, there's a DDT. One, two. Ah, oh, Yatsumoto gets the win off the beautiful DDT. I will consider getting the new 2K23 game. Um, it looks good, even though John Cena's on the cover again. Uh, can't go wrong with a John Cena cover game because 2K15 was kind of good to me. Um, nothing wrong with another John Cena cover game, even though it's not the Icon Edition. We'll see what's in store for 2K23. I'm actually surprised they already get ready for another game this early. But we'll see. Because I would love to see some good stuff from 2K. Bring on the stuff. Here is your winner, the Asian Nightmare. Chase the Dragon. Matsumoto. Matsumoto gets a win. And that means... Zack Turner is no longer undefeated here in CWC. But that was a good fight. That beautiful underhook uh, pile driver from Zack Turner playing tribute to Jay Briscoe. What a respectable young man Zack Turner is. But here we go with El Guapo and Baby Extreme. El Guapo is, has a little bit of history here in the uh, wrestling business. He has won the first. Nope, that's not it. That was Evan Offense that's won the first match here in, uh, in the wrestling history. Maybe Extreme lost the first match. Well, let's see if Baby Extreme can pull a win here tonight against the, the evasive El Guapo. These two legendary, uh, legendary athletes, these guys will jump all over the ring just to put their opponent right back down. So excited. Can't wait for this match. Zach Turner paying tribute to Jay Briscoe in the last match with the underhook pile driver. Reach for the sky, boy. Rest in peace, Jay Briscoe. We will, you will be missed by everyone. Family, Mark Briscoe, the fans, and me. Cause I was a big fan, even though I don't watch Ring of Honor, but I do. Who you, I know who you was, and may you rest in peace now. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Gomez, oh wait, we're gonna go maybe extreme attack and El Guapo from behind. Uh, from behind? This is never familiar for Baby Extreme. No surprise, Baby Extreme attacked El Guapo from behind. As heroic as Baby Extreme is, I wonder why he attacked El Guapo from behind. I wonder. And there's a beautiful Hurricane Rana. 
But as you guys don't know, ECW One Night Stand, ECW's first pay-per-view is tomorrow. So that means every title is on the line. So y'all better stay tuned for tomorrow. Because this is about to be an exciting weekend for everyone starting off the weekend with action hardcore matches. So, but we got to stick to the cruiserweights and their beautiful athleticism as of late. Um, we got El Guapo versus Baby Extreme. Hopefully, look at that. Look at the athleticism. Pick it up and what strength from Baby Extreme. Baby Extreme now. And with another roll through power bomb. And another one. Interesting. I hope he doesn't go for another one. And a spiky DDT. I wonder what was the purpose for Baby Stream attacking from uh, attacking uh, El. Oh, and another DDT, another one, but a different one. I wonder why El Guapo attacked Baby Extreme from behind. I wonder. I wonder what his beef with El. Oh wait, El Guapo now looks like it's going to be a backbreaker, and it is. Oh, missed around with this heel kick. Maybe Extreme picking up El Guapo, turning it into a sidewalk spinning slam. They should going back and forth outside the ring, and the match has not even started yet. And they swing the net breaker from El Guapo. Oh, and it ends in a draw. These two are just fighting. I wonder why they're just fighting out here. In a clothesline, the rob. Oh, this is a robbery match. That's why. Okay, so looks like uh, maybe Extreme is a little desperate superstar here, while uh, El Guapo is the egotistical, disrespectful, desperate, treacherous, and aggressive, but he is a bold superstar, we could say that for sure. Everything is good except for Baby Extreme's desperateness, but we'll see what's next. This might be the last match. Is this, was that the last match? That was the last match. Okay. Um, that was a little quick show. Um, I think this is, is this the last ECW for ECW One Night Stand? What do you guys think? You think I should keep going, posting ECW? Or y'all want to wait until tomorrow? Because I think this is, uh, another TV taping. Let me check the, uh, calendar for a second. Oh, yeah. We got, um... ECW and the ECW one night stand. So what do you guys want? Y'all want a uh, ECW show right now? Or do y'all want to wait for the pay-per-view? Because I know um, Sometimes I leave it up to the fans. I know some of you are watching now um, Do y'all want to see an ECW show right now? Or do y'all want to see a, a ECW one night stand tomorrow? Um, what do you guys want me to do? Because I know some of you are watching Watching right now, so it's all up to the fans right now. Um, you want me to continue on with the show and then play ECW tomorrow, or you want me to wait and then have the TV tape tomorrow and the pay per view probably Sunday? ECW, ECW, ECW. So, what y'all think? Y'all think what this is what Jay Briscoe probably wants? ECW? Do I hear? Ah, uh, okay. We should wait for the pay per view then. Okay. Uh, but, y'all, um, for ECW, for all my ECW fans out there, uh, tomorrow we have Eddie Ryan versus Silence. I'd have to change that into a 2 on one handicap match. We got Jake Rage and Morgan Holland in an Extreme Rules match. We got Prime Time. We got one half of Money Incorporated, Prime Time versus one half of the Rough Riders, Wallace, in the Extreme Rules match. We have Sean versus Ryan Russell in a one-on-one -on -one match. We have Spider and Mark Wheeler. Mark Wheeler is Steve Stevens' uh, trainer. Uh, we got Stunning Sam Rogers versus Pagano in a Falls Count Anywhere match. 
And we also have Austin Banning and Cesar Diaz in a fall in a falls count anywhere match also for the main event. There are in the as let me check this is no make sure. Yep, there is no titles on the line. There no one that's a champion. We have new and improved titles, as y'all can tell. But um no titles on the line as of yet. But when it comes to ECW one night stand, we are gonna have every title on the line. So y'all stay tuned probably for Sunday because I did not know I was on track actually. I'm actually in order because I thought I was behind. Um Okay, so Saturday. That's tomorrow. Well, Friday. We just did Friday. So tomorrow, um, I'm gonna do ECW tomorrow. That's fine. I heard uh I see that wait for the pay per view in the chat, so that's what we're probably gonna do. Um, tomorrow is going to be a TV taping, and then Sunday, and then, uh, Saturday will be an ECW One Night Stand. We could do that. Well, I want to say thank y'all for joining me this, uh, today. This will be an exciting, uh, next two days for ECW. Um, Sunday will be probably NGW, or maybe Monday. But, I uh, hope y'all enjoyed Jay Briscoe's Memorial. Uh, thank y'all for joining me. Jay Briscoe, may you rest in peace. Reach for the sky, boy. Jay Briscoe, rest in peace with his family. And Mark, Mark, you keep pushing yourself to be a wrestler for a singles for a little while. Uh, both of you are big fans. I know you can do it. Jay, rest in peace. Reach for the sky, boy.